work on the railroad again. It's Sunday afternoon, we're at AAA Hobbies in Magnolia, New Jersey. It's a beautiful day out, and what we're gonna do today is continue what we started last time, which is the turf areas. Um, but we're gonna bring the area, we're gonna go up to where the mill is here on the top. It's on a little bit of a, a raised area. Um, there's a road that goes in and out of it, and I think we're gonna work on this today, and we're gonna do the groundwork, we're gonna hopefully do the road and some of the turf, and we'll see how it comes out. So we're gonna continue our terrain down here on the mill area, and what I've done is I've taken the track off, and I'm gonna take some clear plastic sheet, and I'm gonna tape it around the very edge of the rock, where the rock meets the surface or the groundwork. That way, when I put the ground materials on, it'll keep it from going down into this. So you'll see it when I get this done and we get started. I just want to catch the extra. I don't want it to mix down here because it's going to be a different color. The terrain's done. I've done all the turf work in this area, this end. And this is the industrial end of the layout, and I consider that the city end. So this one's going to be a little rougher. The next step we're going to do is we're going to take our gray ballast, the mixed gray that I showed, and put it into the areas inside of the complex here. In other words, around the mill buildings and whatnot. And then we'll go from there to the road. These are some of the shaker bottles that we've been using to apply the grass down. What we've done, you can pick these up here at the shop. They're just simple little paint jars. And what we've done to fill these up, taking a regular hobby knife, just put it in, a couple turns, and you make a couple holes in it, however many you'd like and clean them up a little bit around the plastic and once you have that you've got yourself perfect shaker so we're finishing up the gravel here in the industrial mill area as you can see i've got a nice coat of gravel i'm using our little shaker cans that we make i'm just going over right now and hitting some of the areas that look light and then when this is all finished i'm going to do the road areas in the redstone and then we're going to take the scenic cement and rain on everything and seal it all down. Groundwork's down, the turf, the gravel, and we've put down the red road stone which I think really stands out against the gray nicely. So the last step is to take, and we did this last time, the scenic cement liquid. We put it in an atomizer. That's a Woodland Scenics product. And basically what we're gonna do is just rain down on all this scenery material. And it'll soak in and it'll fix it in place. So we're going to put a road in here. And what we're going to do, unlike the other roads that I made out of plastic, we're going to make a stone or a, you know, a gravel road here. And I'm just taking some of my tacky white glue that's thinned down with water and gooping it onto the road where the road's going to be. And then as soon as this is done, we'll take the red stone and drop it right down on here. Almost finished. I'm at the point now where we've done this side of layout, we did all the turf, the groundwork and so forth, and we misted it with the sealer or the cement, the, the scenic cement. 
and now I'm gonna work over to this side where we've put down our grass, we did a road, and we actually also have glued in the tunnel section. This is a big plastic preformed tunnel, and we trimmed it out, and we put it down, you notice that when we did the grass, we put some brush around it just to kind of blend the lines in. So as a last step here tonight, I'm gonna to take the scenic cement in the atomizer, I'm gonna mist this all down, and let it settle, and when that's done, I'll put my buildings and things back on, and we'll take a look at the overall. Is what we accomplished today. We got a lot of the terrain and the groundwork done up on the top level. Very similar to what I did last week. Um, different areas, different type of materials, the gravel and so forth. So stay tuned next week. We'll do a little bit more up here, get the roads done, start doing the buildings.